Abby, it was certainly worth 112 steps to get up here. What a beautiful spot. It is. It's absolutely beautiful up here. It's a 23 metre canopy tower, so we're right at the top of the trees here at the Daintree Discovery Centre. And discovery is the operative word, isn't it? What is here to discover? So we're an environmental educational facility for all ages, giving people access to the rainforest from the forest floor to the top of the trees while getting information. It's a unique part of the world. It's our, our living museum here. Abby, uh, let's discover some things about Abby. Uh, originally from the UK, yes. how did you end up marrying an Australian and ending up in the Daintree? I backpacked uh, when I was 19, bumped into my husband in Morocco. Um, we lived in Portugal for four years before travelling through South, Southeast Asia and then uh, headed to Australia and we ended up in Geelong in the middle of winter which I was not expecting. <laughs> so I didn't even know that there was snow in Australia and two weeks later I was um, skiing in Falls Creek. But he told me he knew this beautiful beach and we drove and we drove and we ended up here in uh, Cape, Tri Cape Tribulation we were camping at Noah's Beach. Isn't that wonderful? What is it about this part of the world that's captured your heart? The first time I came across the ferry, I just felt something very special. And um, we lived in Port Douglas for a year. And every weekend we would come looking for blocks and we bought our block of land in 96 and started building. Yes, and what a place to, to live. Yeah. What would you say to people who've never lived in a rainforest? What's so special about it? Oh, we have so many uh, endemic species here. It's, you know, peaceful, tranquil. Um, we are off grid. I, I had a dream of, of being self-sufficient and, you know, looking after our own water, power, sewerage, everything, growing our own veggies. And, and yes, after 25 years, we've made that, made that happen. So and, very happy. And what do you do in your spare time? Um, swim in the pool, we go for walks on the beach, yeah, so just, yeah, well, I have two beautiful grandchildren, so, um, yeah, spend some time with the family when we can, even though they're in Victoria, unfortunately, all our families are either in Victoria or the UK, so it's just my husband and I up here, unfortunately. Abby, what would be your final pitch to people who are thinking about coming to the Daintree? We have everything here that, you know, to offer and it's an absolutely pristine part of Australia and we're very proud of the Daintree so please come and visit.